You have to try the sushi omakase with big portions at Sushi Muriyama in Honolulu, Hawaii. When we travel, we like to experience tasting menus, and omakase is a good way to get the chef's choice experience in multiple courses. This is one omakase dinner you should try when you're in Honolulu. Hokkaido kinky rockfish. That is a rockfish on the market right now. Here with sea salt and lemon on top. Rockfish. I don't know if I've had rockfish before. Mmm. A little salt and lemon. Torched a little bit. It's like smoky, buttery. A little brightness from the salt. Local big eye tuna. Mm -hmm. Look at this thing, it's like huge. I remember just throwing it in my mouth. But... <clears throat> mm -hmm. The local big eye tuna was nicely accented with the miso and sweet soy. The courses here at Sushi Muriyama are huge. This omakase dinner is definitely worth trying. Oh my gosh. This is the Shima Aji Strike Jack from Japan. Give you the back and the belly cut together with the ginger, soy sauce, and scallions. With the belly. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, I like this thing. So, that was nice and buttery. Very nice and buttery. This is Whoa. the King Salmon from Big Glory Bay, uh, New Zealand. Shiso flower buds in the middle and then Tokyo Amela sweet tomato on top. Wow. Amazing. Another creative omakase course at Sushi Murayama in Honolulu. So we were stunned by the size of the sushi and this one was even bigger. These Tokyo Amela tomatoes from Japan are known for their sweetness. Will these ingredients taste good together? Let's find out. So, how do you do it so big? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't think I can do that. Mm. Very. Mm. The tomato. Mm. Mm. Natural sweetness and acidity of the, the tomato. Mm. Wow. Yeah. The combination worked well together. Really good. Very good. I love hamachi color. Fresh hamachi from Kyushu, Japan. Never frozen. Always fresh. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Squeeze some lemon on that. How fluffy that amachi is. Oh my god, so good. Very good. Mmm. Amachi is awesome. One of my favorites, thank you. This is the Hokkaido A5 uh, Black Wagyu Beef, Nigiri style. Wow. So this rice we use uh, Hokkaido brand rice as well. So it's uh, different than our sushi rice. Oh, so Hokkaido rice and A5 Wagyu. Yes. Look at this how large this is. Hokkaido A5 Wagyu with Hokkaido rice. Mmm. Oh, my God. Mmm. Mmm. So freaking good. Just the right amount of salt. Savory rich. Oh. So the front we have the fatty uh, local tuna strips, uh, the belly with the mixed with uh, tapua, it's a little daikon radish. And we top it off with a bonito flakes and green onions. In the back we have the blue fin kamatoro, so that's right by the collar. And then we top it off with Hokkaido uni. So pretty. Mm. Mm. So good. The sushi portions here are bigger than most omakase dinners I've experienced, and they have some unique ingredient combinations here. 
The nigiri courses showcase the flavor of the fish with touches of house soy and other toppings. The sushi chefs are making creative flavor combinations that all come together, making it very enjoyable with balanced flavors. Each course is thoughtful and exciting from the first sight of how large everything is to the wonderful flavors we experienced. We definitely enjoyed each and every course. Save room for dessert and try the unique ice cream flavors. Make sure to book your omakase at Sushi Moriyama ahead of time and let me know how your experience was.